Hello everyone, uh, this is EB the original master here, and I have decided to make this video to tell you guys something that we have a problem. Yes, we have a very serious problem, and it's about the SitePal editor website. So, um, the problem with the website now is that it's been updated, and uh, the homepage and the classic demo for SitePal has been changed. And these new changes that they've added to the website isn't all that great in my opinion. So this is the brand new SitePal Editor website. They've completely redesigned their homepage, which I understand that is pretty nice for them to update things. But my biggest problem with the SitePal Editor website now is the format of the classic demo. So I'm going to click on uh, the classic demo button right here which is the, the option that I've used throughout the Angry James show. And yeah, so right now it's loading. And yes, you guys, this is the new SitePal Editor demo site. And my biggest problem with the site or the, or the format of the new demo is that the play button is all the way down here. And that is going to be very, very annoying when working on the Angry James Show Revival series because this is going to be in the way and there's nothing you can do about it. It's because that I don't know why they put the play button right here in the center. Because in the old layout, I do have a video up here. If I click on this, this is the layout of the old demo uh, for SitePal Editor. Uh, the play button is nowhere in the center. You just get this uh, square right here. You just only get the character in the center and the background. You don't have any buttons or anything interfering with the environment of the characters. And it's going to be very annoying and distracting for you guys to see this big giant play button in the center while you guys see the character speaking. And I think another problem is that you also got the plus and the minus buttons right here that will shrink and make the character larger. I think that will also interfere with the background itself. And yeah, it's so dumb because I don't know why they will put the the buttons interfering with the background because that's not what's supposed that's not what it's supposed to be because it's supposed to be right here on the side or down here in the bottom. It isn't it isn't supposed to be in the background where it will interfere with the environment of the show. And it will make it look very unprofessional because it's that's not how it's supposed to be. So, guys, um, I just don't know what was SitePal thinking. The site used to have been fun. It still is fun. But because of this hideous looking new format of the SitePal Editor demo... I honestly just don't know what shall I do with the Angry James Show Revival series. There's no way I'm going to work on the rest of the episode if these buttons are going to interfere with the background because this looks, it makes it look hideous. It just doesn't make it look professional at all. It looks like you're watching a show with, you're saying, oh, why are these buttons here? Is there a way you can remove these buttons? No, I'm going to try to figure out if there's definitely a way you can remove these because, nope, I guess not. I guess there isn't a way where you can't, where you... Now, this should actually be an, a button where it says, can you toggle the the buttons here? Because these will be a distractment, I don't, and it will make the show look unprofessional as you see these buttons interfering with the background of the character. The only thing you should be seeing here is just the character in the foreground, and in the background, you just get the environment. That is what the Angry James show was supposed to be. And you also got the Watermark Bandicam logo up here. It's because that I record the dialogue and the scenes with Bandicam. Which shouldn't be a problem with you guys. It should be something familiar with you. Yeah. This is actually the new SitePal Editor format. It's because the old format is no longer available. Because I do have the old link of the old format still saved on my on my Mozilla Firefox page here. But it's going to take me to this 404 mer message error saying that, Sorry, this page you are looking for cannot be found. Meaning that I guess it's no longer available. So, yeah, thanks a lot, SitePal, for updating your website to make it look garbage. I don't know why you've had... I mean, is it really that hard for you to update the website? Like, all you could have did was 
do it like this format. I don't mind. It's, I do like the new format. But these buttons here and the play button right here in the dead center, that is going to be a huge issue with the remaining of the Angry James Show series. Now, um, on the bright side, while I was working still on the pilot episode of the Angry James Show Revival series, I was still using the old format. So I guess um, I've, I must have stopped at a point where the old format just ended up disappearing. But this is the new SitePal Editor demo. And I'm not going to do a 15-day free trial because that's going to be garbage. And I, I, and I still think the, 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 the free trial will still have the same um, uh, like interference. Like the play button right here in the center. You got the plus and minus button to shrink and zoom in the character. It's just going to make the series look ugly and unprofessional. So, I am afraid that I'm just going to end up having to not continue working on this because of these new changes to the website. You see, if SitePal Editor would have thought that these buttons wouldn't be the issue, there's no, there's no, like, there's like nothing you can do to, to remove these interfaces because this is going to make it look unprofessional. And there's no way you guys are going to enjoy the series with these stupid buttons appearing on screen, like... It just doesn't look right. It just makes it look ugly, and it's not professional at all, at the slightest. So, yeah, thanks a lot, Site Palette. You just ruined your website, and you need to do something about this. And no, I'm not going to contact the people who created Site Palette. I'm not going to bug them about this. I'm just going to have to figure something out. And, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to think about doing something different on this channel, but... I'm afraid that because of this, I don't, I can't see a way to continue the Angry Dream Show Revival series. It's ridiculous that I am dead in the middle of working on the pilot episode and that's going to end up being canceled. It's because that site pal had decided to make their website like this on the demo. Where there's a button that is interfering with the background and it's so totally unnecessary. I don't know why they had to change the website. I know the, I mean, I know for it. To make it look better but if you wanted to do that you should have not had the plus and minus buttons and the play button right here interfering with the background and the foreground of the character because that's going to make it look very ugly and it's just not going to make it look right and i know you guys don't want that and i don't want to provide that so i'm i'm very sorry you guys i i blame site pal for this this is site pal's fault i don't know why they made this decision but it is what it is and i just have to deal with it well Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to think about another alternative. Yes, the, the Mustache Tree Adventures of Super Mario is still going to be canceled. I'm still not going to bring that back. It's because that there is no way I am going to do that subtitle format. I'm just going to have to find better content to provide for you guys. That isn't just series. Because series isn't working out. And there's absolutely nothing I can possibly do with this. So... I'll think about something, if I do come up with another project that I'm going to work on, I'll let you guys know in an update, but I might end up doing another Mario thing that isn't like the Mustache Adventures of Super Mario, it might end up being like a Roblox project or something, and if I do end up doing that, it might be like a, a film, like a big film or something, but I'll let you guys know that in an update. But the Mustache Adventures of Super Mario is still cancelled, is because that like I said in that video about it being canceled, I just don't like the site that I'm using. It doesn't have that much options on there. There's other Mario scene creators games out there that aren't that great. Yeah, so it it appears that no one can make a perfect Mario scene creator game on the internet. And the only places that you can think of to make good scenes is either Roblox or some other project or some other game that has those characters in them. But, yeah, and because of SitePal Editor's new horrible demo format, there is no way I am going to continue working on the pilot episode if these buttons are going to be in the, in the way, because it will make the video look ugly. Like, look at this, this is ugly. I don't want to see these buttons interfering with the characters in the background. That's going to make it look unprofessional. But, yeah, uh, enough bragging, enough said and done. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys updated with more videos. So, see you later.